Hi, Brendan from TAT. Um, I've got a WS Ford Fiesta 2009 1.6 litre petrol. Just been dropped off a tow truck and they say it needs a fuel pump. It's a very good example of voltage drop testing, a fundamental that um, we need to understand. So I'll run through it with you. So sure enough, we had no fuel up at the rail, so I've um, gone back to the access point of the fuel pump. Um, you would have to drop the tank on this one, but at least I can get to the wiring. How do I know it's the fuel pump wiring? Well, I took a bit of a guess and I saw four wires, um, two that are fat, which are very likely going to be the fuel pump, and two skinnier ones that are very likely going to be for the um, sender unit. So what I've got set up here is I'm monitoring the um, earth, the power, and the amperage of the fuel pump itself. And I'm a little bit further in here because initially what I had was a poor ground, right? So I um, used Haynes data and I looked up where the ground was and I'll show you where it is and that's initially the problem. But then sure enough, you know, I hadn't even touched anything and the thing actually started and we've got fuel pressure. But I'll show you why there is still a problem with um, what's going on. So, so that you see what we're seeing on the scope, we've got violet and black is our earth, um, which is our, our blue channel, channel one. Um, the Violet and green is our power, that's the red channel, channel 2, and then we're watching amperage on green, channel 3. So the earth is what we're most concerned with, and that's going to be the blue one on channel A. So what we've got going on here is we've got um, the red one, which is supplying us close enough to 12 volts. If you excuse, excuse the glare, I don't need to measure that, you know, sorry, 14 volts because we're running. What I'm most concerned with though is our blue trace so if this is zero down here and we're all the way up there and I've, I've dropped a cursor and so what we've got up the top there is 1.9 volts so we've got a, a difference on our ground to a chassis ground of 1.9 volts there's a resistance somewhere an extra resistance in the circuit the fuel pump should be the only resistance in the circuit and it, it should consume all the load there's not so we've got something that after the fuel pump on the ground circuit is enough resistance that it is being a consumer in itself and it's consuming 1.9 volts. That's 1.9 volts we want for our fuel pump, right? Now just so you can see, if you have one of these, the earth point for the fuel pump is, is up here. It's shared by three other wires and I, I haven't looked into what they are, but I can tell you this white one is quite warm and it's um, starting to burn away. Um, there's our black and violet. And um, just so you know, like I've put a, a um, ohms meter on there. I might actually do it for you just to show you the difference between using an ohms meter and using um, voltage drop. Okay, so you can see my meter there. Um, firstly, we'll just test the meter. So, good. And I'm going to go on this point, which should be an earth, and then up to the suspect lug. And as she's coming down, coming down, we get to something that you would not be too unhappy with, right? So if you had done a um, resistance measurement on that ground you would have no problem saying that that's an absolutely perfect ground but we know it's not we're getting a voltage drop of um, several volts so a meter and let's get rid of the dirty ohms meter which hey it's got its place but it's not often that you will use it I, I would recommend not using it where you can voltage drop is king right so if we've got our two wires all the meter is doing is measuring the potential difference between this point and this point if there's a wire in between the two and I was to stab it and then stab the other end, you better hope that this end of the wire is the same as this end of the wire and we should get zero volts, right? But in this case we don't. So I've stabbed one end of the wire at the fuel pump, I've stabbed up at the actual earthing point, and we've got a difference of about three volts between these two points. Now what's, what's the, the cause there? Well it's got to be resistance that's causing a voltage drop and in this case um, we, we're already at the earth point. Now if you have a, a closer look at the earth, I'll show you what the problem is with it. Can you see me moving that around? So the bolt is not tight. I'd say it's a pretty common thing on these. You know, that just looks like a manufacturing type fault to me really. Um, so I'll probably take it off, um, you know, clean it up, do whatever I need to do until I, I get no voltage drop there. But a very important concept um, and you know, it doesn't look like this one will need any parts. Thanks guys. And lastly, just a fixed shot so we can see where our earth used to be up at 2.5 volts, whereas now we're down close enough to zero volts for my liking. Um, amperage has increased a bit. We're at closer to, call that, yeah, close enough to five volts. It's about 4.4, .4, so four and a half amps. 
Um, anyone who's concerned why that is negative, it's just so I've got my amp clamp around the wrong way so I could flip my amp clamp, amp clamp around on that wire and it would be positive amps, not really an issue. But we've got a fix, um, just need to clean up the earth. So I've um, replaced a couple of the eyelets that were a bit burnt out and um, the thing was just loose and obviously that had caused a bit of heat and burning and now it's all nice, clean, um, fixed fuel pump. Thanks guys.